If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is happening, guys? CLICKWID here back again with another Madden 17 Budget Series episode. Guys, today the position that we're going to be taking a look at is wide receiver, but before we get into it, I want to point out that there is also a running back video and a quarterback video already out, so be sure to check out the other videos on this channel if you guys are interested in those positions. We will also be doing other positions, so if there's anything specific that you guys want me to take a look at, please let me know in the comment section below. Now, with that being said, guys, we are going to take a look today at five of the best wide receivers to start the season at various different things. So we're not saying necessarily that the budget guy is better than the cheaper than the more expensive guy, excuse me. But what we are saying is that these guys are very, very effective, especially considering their price tag. So with that said, let's take a look at the first one. Guys, on the left side of your screen, we have J.J. Nelson of the Arizona Cardinals. On the right side of your screen, we've got Randall Cobb of the Green Bay Packers. 87 overall for Cobb. He is a signature card. And on the left, obviously, J.J. Nelson, a bronze. 63 overall. Very, very low overall. But the price difference between these cards is massive. Obviously, Cobb, 65 thousand coins whereas jj nelson you can get for under a thousand i've seen him as low as 500 coins so very very cheap and the thing is here is that a lot of the attributes between these guys is, are actually pretty close you, i think you'd probably be surprised at some of the things that you'll see here on this video the most important thing that we're taking a look at though when we're taking taking a look at this specific set of wide receivers is their speed so we've got jj nelson at a 92 speed 92 speed that is a crazy crazy high attribute among the very fastest players in this entire game at any position and he's a bronze card we always know speed kills in mutt i mean that's just the way that it is it's the way that it's always been it's the way that it will always be but when you're talking about a guy who has 92 speed and most of the cornerbacks, even the good cornerbacks in the game, are maybe high 80s, but for the most part, they're kind of mid to, to high 80s. I mean, you're talking about a big, big advantage between uh, JJ Nelson or from JJ Nelson to the opposition. And the other thing here is that both of these guys have a 94 acceleration. So they're both very, very similar in that department. Um, you're talking about very, very quick players, of course. Uh, but JJ Nelson, I think is definitely a guy who can uh, who can get the job done here at the wide receiver position in a lot of different things. His jumping is actually very good as well. An 84 versus Randall Cobbs being an 85. Um, obviously, these guys are both five foot ten, so they're not on the tall end, but they're you know still decently tall at least. Um, the, where JJ Nelson obviously lags behind is in simple things like route running release. I mean, he's a guy that can definitely get beaten up at the at the line of scrimmage by a press, but I will say this. If he's not pressed and he goes on a streak, he can burn cornerbacks in man coverage, especially if they don't have somebody over the top. And even if they do, a lot of times they're not going to get there in time. JJ Nelson is a very, very specific type of player that you would put on the field. He's not a guy who you're going to want to have out there run blocking. He's not a guy who you're going to want really even running simple routes. I mean, a, a corner route, things like that. He's not going to be great at that. But when it comes to just running that streak or running a drag, for example, he's going to get that speed burst that other guys just don't get. And that's the thing that I really like about this JJ Nelson card. And again, for 500 coins, I mean, you really can't go wrong. You can try him out. And if you end up not liking him, so what? You sell him and you lose 50 coins. Like it's super, super cheap to give this card a try. And I really, really would recommend it. It's a, a very, very fast card. And it's somebody that you can certainly use to exploit your opposition on defense. Next set of wide receivers is another one that I would consider to be speed first. On the left, we've got a guy that I consider to be, you know, one of the best budget wide receivers last year, and that's Brashad Perriman. He's kind of really similar to what he was last year. Six foot two, 92 speed, 89 acceleration, very, very fast. Uh, and again, somebody just like JJ Nelson who can get down the field and make some crazy plays. Uh, he is a little bit better at, than JJ Nelson at quite a few different things. Uh, as far as like, you know, you look at his release and you look at his route running, um, you look at his uh, various different attributes as far as like speed and or from uh excuse me from elusiveness juke move uh spin move all of those things are quite a bit better his strength even his run blocking is better than jj nelson 
He is also six foot two, which is a big advantage over most of these other wide receivers. Uh, we're comparing him today, though, to Demarius Thomas, who is an 88 overall. Uh, this is another signature wide receiver going for about 115,000 coins. The price difference between these guys is massive. Of course, Perriman uh, only going for about 4,000 coins because he's a silver. But there are a lot of things that uh, Perriman's actually pretty damn good at. And I think that he is a guy who, again, is going to be one of those budget wide receivers who is very, very difficult to stop just because of that pure speed. Uh, and you combine the fact, again, that he's six foot two, and it's just going to be very, very difficult to stop a guy like this in Mutt. So definitely try him out. Uh, try JJ Nelson out. See which one of those guys that you like. The price difference is 3,500 coins. I would certainly go with Perriman if you can afford him. But uh, again, if you're looking for that super budget, JJ Nelson's probably the guy to go with. Next on today's list, we have what I would consider to be kind of more like jump ball wide receivers. So guys that you can throw up the ball to and hopefully they'll go up and make those aggressive catches. On the left side of your screen, we've got Kelvin Benjamin, six foot five. So you know that he is a giant and he's somebody that can go up there and snag the ball out of the air. 91 catch in traffic, 91 spectacular catch. He also has a 91 release if you're getting jammed at the line. So, man, he's a very, very good receiver in those aspects. He also has 83 speed, though. So that is not very good. I mean, that's a pretty damn low attribute for a wide receiver. So that's something you should definitely keep in mind. Uh, he's not going to burn many guys deep. But if he's in single coverage, you can throw it up to him, and he's going to make a lot of plays for you. And we're comparing him today to A.J. Green, who is an 87 overall, going for about 70,000 coins. Obviously, Benjamin at the 6,500 coin range, quite a bit cheaper, but uh, AJ Green is definitely the better overall receiver between these two guys, but I don't think it's necessarily as substantial as uh, a lot of people would probably look at with the attributes here. Uh, Kelvin Benjamin has him in quite a few different things like the catch and traffic, the spec catch, the release. Um, he's also got good strength. I mean, there's a lot of different areas where Kelvin Benjamin's actually quite good, so uh, certainly take a look at him. Uh, I think he's one of the more underrated receivers to start the year here, especially given his frame. So uh, again, I really like Kelvin Benjamin. I think he's going to be a good budget wide receiver to combine with some of those fast guys. You need to have somebody that can go up and make single coverage catches uh, in traffic. And, and you know, when you're looking at a Hail Mary at the end of the game, this is the guy you want to throw to, man. He's going to go up there and make those catches for you. So uh, definitely like my Kelvin Benjamin card here. Now, uh, next on the today's list, guys, we do have a guy who is what I would consider to be kind of more like a possession slot receiver. Uh, we've got T.Y. Hilton here on the left. Now, Hilton actually has quite a bit of speed as well, so he's not a complete bum. Um, he's not just a guy who's going to have slow speed and not going to be able to make plays after the catch. He's a guy that you can throw a drag route to, and he can pick up 10, 15 easily. So I definitely like that about T.Y. Hilton. 9,000 coins for that card. It's a gold. Uh, I do think that'll probably drop a little bit in price here over the coming days, but we're up comparing him to Keenan Allen, who's going for roughly a 100,000 coins. This is a flashback Keenan Allen, who a lot of people think is probably the best overall wide receiver in the game, or certainly up there with the best overall wide receivers in the game. He does have your uh, Ke your T.Y. Hilton in a lot of different areas. Uh, the one area where he does not have him is pure speed, but they're exactly the same if you look at the fact that they're you know one different in acceleration, one different in speed. I don't think you're going to really see a whole lot of difference there. Um, also, Keenan Allen's not quite as good after the catch. He doesn't have the juke moves. He doesn't have the spin moves. He doesn't have the elusiveness and the agility that T.Y. Hilton does, but where he does make up for it is he is quite a bit better at run blocking, so that's something to certainly take a look at as well. Um, other areas where I like Keenan Allen over T.Y. Hilton, of course, would be the jumping attributes combined with the fact that he's six foot two. Keenan Allen's certainly going to go up there and make the catches in traffic a little bit better than T.Y. Hilton does, but Hilton isn't really built to do that. We're not throwing the ball up to T.Y. Hilton on aggressive catches. Typically, we're kind of looking for him to make uh, you know room on the defense. He's going to find the hole in the defense. He's going to run C routes. He's going to run uh, slants. He's going to do things like drag routes or streaks even. Uh, and you're not going to have to make as many catches in traffic with T.Y. Hilton. So that's something that I like about him. So uh, with that being said, he is a pretty damn good slot receiver. He's not traditionally a slot receiver, I guess. But in Madden, I think that he, that's kind of where I would put him personally. So try him out there. See what you think. 
Last but not least, guys, we have what I would consider to be my run blocking wide receiver. So if you're somebody that runs the ball a lot, or if you're uh, looking to run the ball off the edge on a certain play, these are the guys that you want on your team. Now, I think that Brandon Marshall is traditionally considered to be a pretty good run blocker, but in this case, he's actually kind of pretty much right in line with Anquan Bolden. You look at Anquan Bolden having the 67 for a run block. Now, obviously that doesn't sound good, attributes in the 60s, but it really is quite good for wide receiver. Uh, he's certainly somebody that can pick up those blocks on the edge. The impact blocking is identical between these two guys at a 67. And then the strength, obviously, Bolden has him by one. So uh, they're very, very similar in all of those attributes. Now, obviously, Brandon Marshall's a better wide receiver. So if you're going to be throwing the ball to these guys a whole lot, you'd rather have Marshall. But again, he is 35,000 coins, whereas Anquan Bolden is only 2,000 coins. Bolden is quite bad in some areas, though. His speed, 78. I mean, that's really, really bad. Obviously, he's old now, so that makes a little bit of sense, but uh, 78 speed is terrible. You compare that to Brandon Marshall being an 84, who I would consider still to be somewhat slow for this game. Uh, still, though, he is quite a bit faster than Anquan Bolden. So uh, with that being said, I, again, Marshall, if you can afford him, is the better player. But if you're just looking for somebody who's a pure run blocker in situational things, uh, if you're looking to go off the edge at the goal line or something like that, Bolden is a very cheap guy that you can get and slot in there in those situations to pick up those blocks for you. So with that being said, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a quick favor. Drop a like on the video. I really would appreciate it. It helps out the channel a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And of course, guys, let me know in the comments section below if there are other receivers who you know are good slot receivers, speed receivers, possession receivers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear it. Some other people might also have some questions down there for you. So uh, check that out, guys, the comments section. And of course, let me know what position you want to see next. Uh, I'm not 100% sure which position I'm going to do next, but we are going to get through everything here, hopefully within the first week of the game dropping. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.